Okay, we're going to take a very quick look today at using the touch guitar on GarageBand. So as we start in GarageBand here, we're going to first click the plus sign to get a new song to come up. So that's in the upper right hand corner here. And you're going to see a variety of instruments and things you can uh, put into your songs. We're going to just stick with guitar, but you have keyboards and drums and bass and strings and live instruments that you can record. But we're going to stick with the guitar today. You've got a couple choices. Uh, your first one is the smart guitar, which is going to give you just basic chords. And then you'll have guitar where you can just play it like you would play a regular guitar. And then you'll have some scales that you can do. So we're going to start with the smart guitar choice first. All right, and you can see we've got an acoustic guitar up here. If I click on the smaller acoustic guitar, then I can choose a variety of different guitars, rock guitar, uh, roots rock, classic, clean guitars. But we're just going to stick with the acoustic right now. And you can see that I've got a whole bunch of chords in the key of C. Now, if I want to change those chords, I'm going to click up on the gear up in the upper right. And I can put it in any key I want. So let's switch the key over to G major. And now you can see all the chords are in G. So if you touch up on the letter, you'll get the full strummed chord. Or you can press on the individual strings. And if you run your finger down, you'll get a strum at the speed you want. Now you can choose to do that or they have some autoplay features here as well. So if I click this little dial over to number one and then I click that G chord, I'll get a different pattern. And it will play at the set tempo. Again, if you go back to the gear, you can change the tempo that this plays at. There's number two and number three and number four. So that's all the different types. If you click the chord again, it will stop. And that's the smart guitar feature. Now if we want to switch, we're going to click on the three boxes in the upper left hand corner. And that's going to bring us back to our instrument page and we're going to go ahead and select notes. Okay, now this is a guitar that is basically set up exactly like, like you would see on tab. You've got your six strings. It goes from uh, high E at the top to low E at the bottom. And you've got your frets. And you'll see there's some string space over on the left side of the nut here. That's going to be your open string. So here's your open high E. This would be first fret, second fret, and so on. Okay, now you can play here. You could play just regular guitar like you would have a real guitar to play along with. You can do some fun stuff. You can bend the string. You can slide. So that will allow you to play it like you would want to see it. Now, there's two things you can do here. If you want to go and play only notes that are in a certain scale, you can click this scale button right here. And then you can pick your whatever scale you want to pick. So we're going to pick a major pentatonic, which is good for soloing. Now all the notes that you're going to hit on the strings are all going to be in the pentatonic of the key that you chose from the gear button. And again, you can still do your bends and slides and all the fun things. Again, you can click up at the guitar to get a different style of guitar. and everything's in key. If you want to switch back, you can just shut it off, and then you'll have your guitar standard like you normally would.